awesome update today for you guys. I got so much awesome stuff here, so we're just gonna get started. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go a little quicker with these, like I did with last week's update. So here we go. Chris, Christmas box. This is my first ever Cabin Fever tape I have that's in a clamshell. There are some printings, but no print date. Another, another great books on videotape for the collection. This is a 1957 film. This is a 1986 tape. MG Home Veal engraved on the inside. Let me try peeling back the end label to see if there's a print date. Huh. There actually is no print date on this one. Just some, uh, just some dark red, uh, printings. Interesting. So, most, so, so probably nothing at the end of this one. I got two Star Classics, uh, big boxes. Farewell to Arms. Nineteen thirty two film. This one actually opens up from the top and the bottom. And then this one actually opens up from the top and then the tape uh, slides out like this. Yep, it's got the oversized reels. And the recording tab. Oop, what the heck is that? There was, some, there was something flying around there, like a little flea or something. And a star, a star is born. This is the original 1937 A Star is Born. This one does open up like this. Hold on. This one does open up like this. Also has the recording tab on it still. Okay. Another, yeah, another Kodak Video Programs tape for the collection. Comes with a, comes with a lyrics uh, booklet. A, lyri a lyrics uh, card. So it has the lyrics to all the to all the music on here. Very cool. Oversized reels again, and yep, of course it's recorded on a, recorded on a Kodak tape. The 160th day of 1988.
I got three more Christmas tapes here. Old Fashioned Christmas from Reader's Digest. Look how, look how many classic uh, Christmas songs are on this tape. Yikes, that is a lot. It's an it is an hour and 50 minutes. on Halloween 1997. Very, very, very ironic. If I had to say so myself. It says, uh, opens to make a beautiful Christmas card. So yeah, the front opens up like this and you can see right there. Yeah. This is from Scimitar. Pause the video if you want to read the list of songs on here. Yep. A little moldy, but it should still play okay, but with some minor damage says, it's got this sticker on here that says 101029. I think they meant to say October 10th, 1989, but they screwed up and put a 2 where the 8 should be. I think, I'm not so sure. EP mode tape. Yeah, another uh, U-Log tape for the collection. 60 minutes, so it's one hour. So yeah. Definitely gonna have to play this one on uh, Christmas. Alright, the, the next five tapes are from a show called The Streets of San Francisco. This one is the series premiere episode, The 30 Year Pin. Uh, the episode itself is from 19... this episode was from 1972. And all five of these tapes are from 1998. February 3rd, 1999. And these all came from the video library of Bob Colbert. Whoever he, whoever he is. The next three have two episodes on them. This one has Legion of the Lost and Betrayed. Both these episodes are from 1973. November 20th, 1998. This one has the episodes Hall of Mirrors and Dead Air. Hall of Mirrors is a 1972 episode, and Dead Air is a 1975 episode. November 22nd, 1998. This one has the episodes... Before I Die and Superstar.
uh, Before I Dies in 1973 episode and Superstars in 1976 episode. February 5th, 1999. And then this one's a... And this one has a special two-hour two hour episode, The Thrill Killers. And this episode is from 1976. February 5th, 1999. The shorts are The Home Economics Story, Junior Rodeo Daredevils, Body Care and Grooming, Cheating, A Date with Your Family, Why Study Industrial Arts, and Chicken of Tomorrow. So, yeah. I believe this is now my fourth uh, MST3, MST3K VHS tape. That I have. June 30th, Recording tab. Good times tape, so we know what it has at the end. Mar yes, Marlon Brando in his first feature film. This is a 1950 film. No print date. I'm going to check this one to see if it has any weird unusual endings or anything like that on it. Special home video version. 1959 film. Uh, the print date right here is kind of smeared, but I can still kind of read it. Looks like Cinco de Mayo 1991. 
And this was put in the 22nd week of Night Time 1. Since it has a printing right here, we all know what this will have at the end. Featuring their famous Who's On First routine. Nineteen forty five film renewed in nineteen seventy two. It's got some printings right here, so we pro you can probably guess what it might have at the end. The 10th week of 1990. This is the original version. Columbia House copy. You can see right there. nineteen seventy film and this film is rated R. Yep. June 4th, 1996. <clears throat> yeah. In glorious black and white. This is a 1933 film. And this, and this tape is co-produced by Turner Entertainment. Oh, and Get Carter is also co-produced by Turner Entertainment. I forgot to say that. October 19th, 1992. Contains the original theatrical trailer. Pause the video if you want to read the facts from the vault. So, yep. This is a 1966 film. This tape's covered by United Artists. And this... This was the movie that uh, Jack Lemmon and Walter Matthau did before they start together in The Odd Couple films and The Grumpy Old Men films. August 9th, 2000. <clears throat> The last VHS I got is another is another uh, vintage classics tape. This one being from the MGM Vintage Classics collection. Yep, I finally got the MGM Vintage Classics VHS of this film. This is a Canadian copy, as you can see right there. 1968 film. 
if you want to read the facts in the vault, just pause the video right now and read them. Yep, this one also contain this one also contains the original theatrical trailer. Yep, it's also produced by United Artists. July 29th, 2000. And the print date is printed like how it is on most newer 20th Century Fox tapes. Much like my Canadian movie time we just of uh, 10 to midnight. I think it's I think that's I think that's the name of the movie. You know you know which tape I'm talking about. Okay. Now quick now I'll quickly show you the uh, CDs that I got. I got a Rockin' Fifties Christmas, a tribute to the Rat Pack and Christmas in Vegas from DJ's Choice, Debbie Boone Home for Christmas, the Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer the movie soundtrack, which is pretty cool, Blake Shelton Cheers It's Christmas, Carly Simon Christmas is Almost Here, Christmas with Mahalia Jackson, and both volumes of the 20th Century Masters Best of Christmas Jazz Collection. Got Volume 1 and Volume 2 right here. So very, so very cool. So, yep. Now I do have I do have one other piece of media as well that I got that, which I'll show you guys at the at the end. But before we do that, I want to I want to show you guys some really cool cinema movie uh, relate movie uh, books that I got here. I do collect uh, like classic. I do collect uh, movie books as well. And I got some pretty cool ones. I got the great movie stars, the Golden Years. Very cool. Uh, this is from, as it says, from the beginning to 1945. So, book all about the uh, golden age of cinema. Very, very cool. I got Bogey, the films of Humphrey Bogart. This talks about every, all of Humphrey Bogart's uh, movies, as you can see. Very awesome. Something that definitely had to go in my collection. The films of Anthony Quinn. So very cool. All about uh, the Anth Anthony Quinn's uh, movies. I got this one called The Movie Book. Very cool. This has all sorts of fun uh, info and stuff. Very awesome. And then I got these two Warner Brothers books. I got The Best of Warner Brothers. This is from, from 1986. It talks about the best Warner Brothers films from the beginning, the 20s, the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s, which is pretty cool. Let's see right there. Again, yeah, just has all all sorts of fun stuff in it, and then last, and then and then lastly, we got this gigantic thing. Oh my gosh! This is the Warner Brothers story, the complete history of the great Hollywood studio. Every one of Brothers feature film described and illustrated. Look, yeah, this this thing is a beast. This thing is this thing is it is nice and thick and it is it is freaking heavy, I tell ya. 
but it's really cool. And this is actually, by the way, this is actually from 1979, so it only goes up uh, so far, but still, really, really cool. See, see, yeah, so, some pretty cool stuff right there. But, but now, you, you guys, you guys ready for my last item? I know, I know, I know you are. <laughs> I have one last bit of awesomeness to show you guys. On the, I, I, I'm sure you guys can probably guess uh, what this is, but on the ca on the count of three, I will show it. One, two, three. Yep, I finally got another uh, Friendship is Magic DVD for my collection. Yep, finally got another one. This is the 2014 DVD of. My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, Spooktacular Ponytails. Yeah. Which, this was one of uh, two uh, Friendship is Magic Halloween DVDs that have been uh, released. So, yep. I, I finally got another My Little Pony DVD. And, and this is now my uh, second uh, DVD of the, sh of the uh, Friendship is Magic uh, series that I have. Yeah. So yep, there's the front, here's the side, and the back. Now now 20% spookier. I, I love that, that's awesome. This has six episodes. Ghostbusters, Stairmaster, Luna Eclipsed, Sleepless in Ponyville, Castle Mania, and Bats. Yep. All, and all, all six of these episodes are awesome and definitely and definitely very and definitely very spooky indeed. And the bonus feature is a sing along. So yep. And there's the disc, which has a. Uh, Princess Luna, uh, aka Nightmare Moon, in her uh, in her little uh, cloak outfit, and it does come in an eco case. But luckily, this is one of the ones where the uh, case has not been like cut out or anything. It's a, it's one of the solid ones, which is good. And just see, so yeah, see, so yeah, it does come in one of these recyclable cases, but it's not one of the ones where it's been cut out. Unlike, unlike my DVD copy of uh, My Little Pony the Movie. So, yeah. Very cool, and ex expect a homemade VHS of this uh, coming up very soon. And in case you're wondering, the homemade VHS of this will be... will have the same exact uh, opening and closing content as uh, the Keys of Friendship uh, one. So, yeah. So, was that a good update or what, guys? I I definitely think so. Hold on. So I'll show you. There's all there's all my good Christmas tunes that I got now. Super some really cool tapes. A few really cool movie books, which is awesome. And then of course, my awesome new uh, DVD I got. So yeah, woo! I have to, needless to say, I think this is a good way to end my uh, winter break. Cause I ha cause I ha cause this week was my uh, my uh, school district's uh, winter uh, break, so I go so I do go back to school on uh, Monday. So yeah, and needless to say, I think I ended my break on a high note. So thanks for watching and. See ya later.